in the enchanting village of Malodia, nestled deep within the verdant valleys, lived a young boy named Aleran. Aleran was known for his insatiable curiosity and boundless enthusiasm. His heart swelled with a deep love for music, and he dreamt of becoming a renowned maestro, crafting symphonies that would touch the souls of all who listened. The village of Malodia was a place where music resonated through every street and alley. The villagers were known for their melodious voices and exquisite instruments. But there was one catch, only those who had mastered their craft could play in the grand melodia. Orchestra. An honor Aleran aspired to achieve. One evening, Aleran sat under the ancient willow tree. His violin cradled in his arms the sunset painted the sky in hues of orange and pink. While the wind whispered secrets of distant lands, Aleran's fingers danced across the strings. But the notes that emerged were not as enchanting as he had hoped. He sighed, feeling a pang of disappointment. As the days turned into weeks, Aleran practiced relentlessly, pouring his heart and soul into his music. Yet, the sweet harmonies he desired continued to elude him. Doubt began to creep into his mind. And he found himself questioning whether he had what it took to become a true maestro. One fateful day, as Aleran practiced by the village fountain, a wise old man named Eldrick approached him. Eldrick was a former maestro of the Melodia Orchestra. His fingers once possessing the magic to make even the stars weep. He had retired years ago. His heart heavy with memories of music he could no longer create due to an accident that had injured his hand. Aleran, my boy, Eldrick spoke. His voice a gentle breeze. I see your passion, your dedication. But remember, practice alone is not enough. You must understand the essence of the music, the emotions it conveys. Aleran listened intently, his eyes filled with a newfound determination. Eldrick continued to share stories of his own journey, the highs and lows, the melodies that had moved nations and the silences that had left hearts empty. Inspired by Eldrick's words, Aleran embarked on a journey of discovery. He spent hours listening to the wind rustling through the leaves, the laughter of children, and the whispers of lovers. He observed the dance of raindrops, the rhythm of horses' hooves on cobbled streets, and the symphony of life that surrounded him. Months passed, and Aleran returned to his violin with a heart brimming with understanding. He poured his newfound insights into his music allowing his emotions to flow through his fingers and into the strings. The notes that emerged were no longer mere sounds. They were stories woven into melodies. A tapestry of life's joys and sorrows. Word of Aleran's transformation reached the members of the Melodia Orchestra. And they invited him to audition. Nervous yet resolute, Aleran stood before the orchestra. His violin in hand. As he played, a hush fell over the room, and the music seemed to transcend the boundaries of the physical world. The symphony he created was a reflection of his journey, an ode to the wisdom of practice infused with a deep understanding of life itself. When Aleran finished, the room erupted in applause. The members of the Melodia Orchestra, including Eldrick, were moved to tears. Aleran had not only played a melody, he had touched their hearts. He was welcomed into the orchestra with open arms, and his music became a vital thread in the fabric of Melodia. Aleran's story spread far and wide, inspiring generations to come. The village learned that practice, while essential, was only a part of the equation. True mastery required an intimate connection with the world. An ability to listen and understand. And the courage to infuse one's soul into every note. And so, the village of Melodia continued to flourish. Its symphonies resonating with the wisdom of Aleran's journey. As the years passed, the willow tree stood as a silent witness. 
its branches swaying in rhythm with the music that flowed through the village, a testament to the timeless truth that practice, when imbued with heart and understanding, indeed makes perfect.